What's going on guys? Welcome back to WWE Pit. Today we're looking at 5 dream matches that were supposed to happen. At number 5, AJ Styles vs Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 33. This match would have been one for the ages. In an interview, Shawn Michaels revealed that the idea was pitched for him to wrestle AJ Styles at WrestleMania 33. But it was just 10 years too late, he said. Quote, I guess I'm breaking something with you and I don't even know if I should, but I could have had that match. They didn't have an opponent for AJ at WrestleMania. I said that I hadn't been asked because I hadn't, but then I was. I said, I wish that young man was here 10 years ago. Man, I honestly do. I think he's very talented. For his part, AJ Styles asked Michaels himself about the possibility. Though Michaels did wrestle that match in Saudi Arabia after his retirement, he just wanted to stay retired and said no to the idea. But it's fascinating to think that what would have happened had these two men met in a WrestleMania match. Sadly, at this point, a dream is all it will ever remain. At number 4, Kurt Angle vs. John Cena at WrestleMania 36. Kurt Angle ended his career with a loss to Baron Corbin at WrestleMania 35, but things might have turned out differently had Kurt Angle gotten his way. Angle wanted to lose to John Cena on his way out. While Angle was in a program with Corbin at the time, Angle wanted Cena as he wanted to retire. Vince McMahon told the WWE legend that he could have had John Cena at WrestleMania 36, but Angle felt that he couldn't go another year. He said, quote, If you want John Cena, you got it, but this year, you got Baron. I said, Vince, I'm not going next year. I'm done. This is it. And he said, well, you're stuck with this. It makes sense why the WWE Hall of Famer wanted John Cena. Cena made his TV debut on WWE SmackDown in 2002 and challenged Angle. In a sense, Angle's career would have come full circle if he had lost to Cena, who started his WWE career facing him. One thing is for sure, the WWE Universe would have loved this proposed story in the sheer history of the match and it would have brought the house down. But alas, it remains only a dream. At number 3, Sting vs The Undertaker Sting vs The Undertaker can be best described as the one that got away. Sting had been tempted multiple times over the years of the match against The Undertaker, but it never happened. Part of the reason why Sting didn't come to WWE until 2014 was because he was concerned about how WWE would use his character. At WrestleMania 33, Sting did face Triple H, but The Undertaker match never came to pass. Part of the problem was that Father Time had caught up with both men. Sting was 55 when he made his WWE debut, and The Undertaker was not far behind either. In an interview, The Undertaker said that it wouldn't meet the expectations that had been set. He said, quote, but where I kind of differ from a lot of people is I look past the marquee value and I look at the ability to deliver. So like you said, there's so many people that are clamoring for that match that I just don't know that that match could deliver on the people's expectations. Perhaps if Sting had come to WWE right after WCW was purchased, history might have been different. At this point, it's highly doubtful that the pair will ever actually compete in a squared circle. At number 2, Bret Hart vs Hulk Hogan at SummerSlam 1993 Before the WWE Universe points out that the pair faced off on WCW Monday Night Nitro in 1998, that doesn't count. That match was a way for Bret Hart to turn heel entirely in a feud with Sting and to ally himself with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It certainly wasn't a dream match in the slightest. The story goes that Bret Hart and Hulk Hogan were supposed to wrestle for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam in 1993. It's been said that the promotional photos were shot for the angle, but Hogan dropped the title to Yokozuna and departed WWE right after. Multiple reasons have been given over the years why Hogan didn't want to lose to Bret Hart, but the WWE Hall of Famer believes that Hogan didn't want to lose to a much better skilled wrestler. It's interesting to note that the pair didn't have a proper match. Bret Hart was a genuine changing of the guard in WWE. Moreover, WWE missed out on a big match that would have drawn audiences. Sadly, fans will never know how a real matchup between the two would have turned out. And at number 1, The Rock vs Sting at WrestleMania 21. Was this a match that people expected? It was probably not on top of anyone's list, but there was a time that The Rock wanted to work with Sting. Perhaps reflecting on the great match he had with Hulk Hogan back at WWE WrestleMania 18, The Rock seemed to repeat that feat. The Brahma Bull vs The Icon would have been a huge event in itself that the WWE Universe would have been head over heels. According to Jim Ross, The Rock did want the match and thought it would have been a good one. He said, quote, and Rock, look, the thing about this, and I may have mentioned this before, it's worth reiterating as far as bookers are concerned. Bookers find out the top talents who are going to draw the money and put every 18 inches to know exactly who they can and cannot work with. Meaning that a great attraction like The Rock fighting another great attraction like Sting at the biggest event of the year like WrestleMania, for the first time ever, is money. Here's the key though, Rock knew in his heart that he could get a match out of Sting, who had been dormant for quite a while, without any problem. Full confidence, and I believe that too. So anyhow, yeah, it was a topic we talked about. Considering that this would have been around 2005, The Rock had already been embarked on his movie career, and WWE fans had to wait until 2011 to see him back in the WWE. 
If Sting hadn't taken up WWE on that offer, WrestleMania 21 would have looked a lot different. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video of WWE Pit. If you enjoyed, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and have a great day.